Good morning. Good afternoon. Good early evening. Good late evening. To all ladies and gents. Passport bros. Expats. Digital nomads. It's your boy Mike the Digital Rocker Nomad. Coming to you from Pangalashan Island. El Nido Resorts. In El Nido Palawan, Philippines. Yep. Nature speaking to us once again this morning. Well, let's talk a little bit. About money matters. But heck, more important than money is your self dignity, your self respect, guys. You can't be cheap and live like this. Beachfront property, right on a coral reef. You can't do it. You can't have a prosperous and abundance outlook on life either. Stop being a cheap Charlie. Stop being on beer budgets. Heck, inflation has gone up. Make more money. Inflation has gone through the roof. Make more, more money. Okay, money matters. Capital M, capital O, capital N, capital E, capital Y. Matters. Capital M, capital A, capital T T E R S. Get out your feelings. This is for the guys this morning. Lace up your boot straps. Get your hands dirty. Stop being soft. Stop being wimps. This ain't for all the guys, but heck man. Testosterone has gone down over the years. You guys need to get out, soak up some of this mother nature. Learn to live, enjoy life. But you cannot enjoy life being a cheap Charlie. Okay? Money matters. I don't care what they told you. All right. I'm retired part time in the Philippines. I'm a digital nomad. I'm an expat. I'm a passport bro. I'm a gent. Okay. How did I do it? And it wasn't necessarily hard, hard work physically, but mentally. So I'm able to live like this. Retirement is a state of mind. Retirement is a state of mind. I get up every morning. I walk the beach. You know, exercise is a must. You got to eat right. Eat your fruits, eat your veggies. Swim. Man, look at this. Look at this. I don't even need to talk. I just hold the camera and walk. Look at God's creation, Mother Nature. I, t I keep telling y'all, this has healing power. Man. This ocean breathes life. These trees breathe life into your body, mind, and soul. Okay? Whether well, you want to hear that or not, this ocean has healing powers natural healing powers that no man can create or imitate so i'm trying to tell you get out of bgc get out of manila get out of these major cities man at least part time and come soak up some of this goodness another thing is 
Yeah, money matters. Your self dignity and self respect matters more. Stop being simps. Stop being beta cuckold mills. A lot of you guys, man. Shameful. Disgrace. Well, I'm on this channel. I'm gonna teach you how to be a man. I ain't gotta say much, but just watch what I'm doing. Don't don't watch me what I ramble on about. I'll talk about it. But just watch my actions. Take action. And stop coming 8,000 damn miles for a woman. Hell, women love successful men. Men that know where they're going. Men that have a plan. Men who are structured. Ambitious. Conquerors. Okay? Let's be real about this now, guys. You can't, can't be no damn simp. Wimp. Limp. Beer dick having ass. Be a real man. I'm the only one out here giving it to you raw and dirty like this. Listen to them waves. You can come seven, eight thousand damn miles for a woman. Man, women are women no matter where you go in the world. Okay? They might have different personalities, but heck, that's fine. Women all over the world have different personalities. You got good, you got bad, you got all the in between. I'm going 8,000 miles to find me a wife. And then you ask them, well, what was wrong with the U.S.? Oh, they, I can't, can't find none. No, now if you told me, hey, listen, I want a more traditional, feminine type of woman, then guess what? I'd understand that all day long. Now you're talking. But don't come all the way over here just for no woman. Okay? Don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Because you're going to lose and she's going to find her a real man who ain't come all the way over here just for her. He had a plan. Just like he did in his home country, he had a plan. Another thing, don't become, okay, a dependent on the Philippines or any of these other countries you decide to go to. Remember, if you can't afford to live in your own country, keep your butt home. Stay on the couch, eat your Cheerios, the ice cream and cookies or whatever you want to eat. Your chocolate chip cookies with warm milk. Stay in your mom's basement. Whatever you're doing. Don't bring your butt down here to the Philippines with that. They don't, they don't want you here. Okay? You become a damn statistic. And you're going to stay a statistic with that type of mindset. I'm trying to uplift you. Okay? If you want to be uplifted, then you just enjoy this raw, natural, and dirty beauty. Maybe this will help you get your butt off the couch and become a real man. All you damn keyboard warriors out there. Yeah, I said it, keyboard warriors. Get a life. Just soak in all this natural beauty. Soak it up. Chasing these dang women around. Like a, like a horny toed puppy dog. Shame on you. But a lot of you ain't got no shame, I guess. You better have purpose when you decide to travel abroad. You better have a routine. You better have some structure, some discipline. Know where you're going. Okay? Because saying, oh, I just want a woman. Nah, that ain't going to work, buddy. you just a simp. This is what living in the Philippines is all about. Natural beauty. Raw and dirty. Beachfront villas. Eating fruits and vegetables. 
free diving, snorkeling, scuba diving, swimming, playing basketball, walking, taking nature hikes. This is what it's all about. I don't care what they told you. This is the real deal here. When you learn to really live and get true mental clarity in your life, then you'll see what it's all about. But until then, you might just stay stuck. You might just stay stuck. The only person that can help you is you. Stop being a dang dependent and become independent. Men, naturally, alpha dogs, alpha men, real men, are hunters and gatherers by nature, by naturally, naturally, are hunters and gatherers, are protectors. All right. We predators, man, basically, in a good way, though. And that's what you must become. To really know your true calling in life. But yeah, this is what it's all about. And being retired in the Philippines or abroad or even in the U.S. Like I said, stop being a darn cheap Charlie. Stop trying to live on a beer budget. Take pride in yourself now. Like I say, don't always listen to what I'm saying, but watch what I'm doing. There it is.
This is what retirement's all about. For a real man and a real woman. That's what it's all about. But you gotta get there first. You gotta get there. Some of us make it, some of us never make it. Quiet. I'm gonna go ahead and shut up. If you got any questions or comments? Feel free to leave your questions or comments in the comments section. That you enjoy this raw and dirty beam footage. And also, I got news for you guys. Let's face this. Let's face the reality. If you got a girl who's 19, 21, 22, hell, 30, 28, 25, fine, beautiful, smart, intelligent, in shape, tight body, but you fat, sloppy, out of shape, don't go to the gym, eat unhealthy food, got ED, Beard dicking ass. You know what I'm saying? And you unhealthy. You don't hike, you don't swim, you don't do no weight exercises, nothing. You just sit on the couch. Typically you one of them boys that sit in your mama's basement. But anyways, that tells a lot about you. But you all you want is a woman. Well guess what? I got news for you. She ain't with you for you. Especially, I don't care where you go. Philippines, I don't care what anybody tells you. These guys is with these women. 30, 40, 50 years younger than them. Guess what? She ain't with you for you. Sorry. Now, you didn't heard it from the source's mouth. Especially if you out of shape, man. You got to take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself. Now, if you in a decent... If you in good shape... 20, 30 years apart, you're in decent shape, good health, then that, that's a different story. But if you out of shape, man, I don't care how old you are. I don't care where you're at in the world, man. You think you're going to get a, the most beautiful, tight body woman like that? It's not going to happen. If it is, she's just playing with you. Because you got to be able to, you know, satisfy them. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. is the only way to keep them. So you got to get out and exercise. And like I said, I'm not trying to talk about you. But you got to be realistic with yourself. That goes for me. That goes for anybody. 
so don't take it personal. And stop being a hater. If you're a hater, you can't ruin life being a hater, man. I think we've all been haters at some point in our life until we learned that was not the right way to go about it. Heck, I was a hater at one time. You live and you learn. And you learn you cannot be no hater and have any type of true success in life. Look at this, man, look at this. Look at this beauty. Look at this natural beauty. I'm going hiking. Oh, look at that. Pythons, all types of spiders, monkeys, rats, insects, birds. Hey, this is living right here. This is living. Once again, my vlog, my channel is to inspire the man who wants to have a change in his life, who wants to be a leader, who wants to be a conqueror, who wants to be dominant, okay? Who wants to take his world, his life to a new height. Okay? Well, once again, if you got any questions or comments, feel free. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section. Peace out and uh, stay prosperous.